The SEC versus Ripple lawsuit has been the primary focus for crypto enthusiasts. Everyone is enthusiastically waiting to witness how the lawsuit finalizes. Following the latest developments, attorney Jeremy Hogan has released a few quick updates concerning the case and its possible outcome. The attorney revealed that a one-hour settlement discussion in the case was held a couple of months ago. And given the most recent trend of events, Ripple is poised to win the lawsuit as the litigation draws close to an end. Thanks for watching Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a crypto Discord group where we give out calls for our favorite altcoins, and you can also win special rewards for inviting your friends to the group. Links for that are in the description. Attorney Jeremy Hogan stated via Twitter that a one-hour settlement discussion happened a month ago. It didn't settle, which means the next most likely settlement time would be at a mediation hosted by the one and only Judge Netburn, who has seen all the documents on camera. A good mediator can work miracles sometimes, he said. A Twitter user asked Hogan if Judge Netburn could recommend the SEC settle with Ripple, as she's seen all the Ether and XRP documents. Hogan replied, stating that Judge Netburn had seen all the documents on camera. If he's correct, then the SEC is in trouble here, which could make a big difference. Keep that in mind. In other news, just like the U.S. regulators focus on crypto, the Financial Conduct Authority opened over 300 cases battling unregistered crypto asset firms. According to the reports, there have been excessive financial scams in the consumer investment market. The Financial Conduct Authority became the anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing supervisor for crypto asset firms in the U.K. in 2020 to ensure proper monitoring of the cryptocurrency industry and to counteract all negative impacts on the users in the country. If you remember, all firms operating before January 10th, 2020 and submitted their applications for registrations before December 6th were given temporary registration. This was so that firms could continue operating pending their application review. The FCA reviewed all the applications due to their intricacies, standards, and of course the pandemic. And as a result, in December of 2021, about 90 firms with temporary registrations had reduced to about 33. Other reports also reveal that only crypto firms are presently recorded and registered on the FCA website implying that the entire cryptocurrency industry is flooding with uncontrolled and unregistered firms, which poses more significant risks to investors. According to the reports, there have been so many financial scams in the consumer investment market, therefore the FCA announced to be making serious moves against it. Last year, between April and September, several queries were made, and compared to the numbers recorded in 2020, it was about 30% higher. The FCA has also in the past given warnings to investors on the risks connected with crypto assets, boiler rooms, and recovery rooms. The executive director of FCA Markets, Sarah Pritchard, has expressed that the published figures ought to give investors sufficient information on their investment choices and how risky they can be. She said consumers need to have confidence when making investment decisions, and the data we've published today shows how prevalent scams can be. And with the opening of more than 300 cases, the FCA further buttresses its efforts against unregistered crypto asset firms in the country. Several of these involve alleged scams. And according to the report, even though several firms have submitted their applications to join the consumer investment market, a quarter of them have been rejected. And back to the SEC versus Ripple case, Gary Gensler has been advised that Ripple could get a complete victory. This makes Judge Netburn's reconsideration decision even more significant. Following the developments, the SEC has been filing contradicting motions to the court. From Hinman's infamous speech on the Estabrook notes, the SEC has been very suspicious each time they filed a reconsideration motion. Not long ago, the SEC considered Hinman's speech as public guidance, after which they later made a motion to reconsider Hinman's speech as only his personal views. Recently, Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple's CEO, initiated a motion against the SEC's opposition to disclosing Estabrook notes in the court. In any case, it's reported that the SEC has only been using delay tactics to stall the lawsuit. Attorney Jeremy Hogan has also suggested some outcomes concerning the latest development in the lawsuit via Twitter. He said if Freusman or Eastbrook go turncoat, they could testify that Garlinghouse lied about his testimony. And what happens then? That's right. Ripple gets to impeach the heck out of them with the Eastbrook notes, which lose DPP privilege the moment they talk about the meeting. Which means that the SEC has no evidence at all about the meeting, but can only argue that Garlinghouse's testimony is self-serving and all testimony is self-serving. So when will the lawsuit end? According to Jeremy Hogan, in reply to a Twitter user's comment asking when we can expect an end, the seasoned lawyer, who's also a partner at Hogan & Hogan, stated via Twitter that he said April or May, and that is only his best guess. The Ripple proponent and U.S. attorney representing XRP holders, John Deaton, gave a few assumptions concerning the lawsuit as well. However, the attorney seems optimistic concerning the outcome of that decision and the upcoming ruling on the notes, as he shared his predictions on Twitter.
I'm going to go out on a limb and predict Judge Netburn denies the SEC's motion for reconsideration, affirming her ruling that the 63 Hinman speech emails be produced. I'm also going to predict the Estabrook notes regarding the meeting with Roysman must also be turned over. He brought up some serious concerns about the SEC's favoritism towards Ethereum, and that could eventually lead to a settlement. In January, he stated that within the 63 emails were most probably notes from meetings with third parties, including Ethereum's Joseph Lubin and executives from Consensus and VC Working Group, stating that this amount of evidence could eventually work in Ripple's favor. The attorney also expressed that complete victory is around the corner, and this motion might be the key to bringing the SEC to the negotiating table and bringing to a close the XRP lawsuit. For clarity purposes, let's take a quick look back at the relationship between the SEC and Ethereum, shall we? In 2018, Gary Gensler argued that the creators of the cryptocurrency Ether violated federal law when they issued $18 million in tokens without registering them as securities with the SEC. More so, the SEC's former director of corporation finance said in a speech in 2018 that Bitcoin and Ethereum developers were not centralized enough for those currencies to meet his definition. However, Hinman is no longer with the SEC. But then later that year, the commission officially announced that Ethereum is not a security. More so, at Yahoo Finance's All Markets Summit, Hinman then stated that he doesn't consider Ether or Bitcoin as securities today. Based on my understanding of the present state of Ether, the Ethereum network, and its decentralized structure, current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions, Hinman further said. And back to where we left off, in response to Mr. Gensler's comment in an interview, the attorney said Gensler is receiving all this pleasure related to the free pass for Ether Foundation, Vitalik, Lubin, I won't be surprised to hear about a settlement, the attorney said. This particularly signals that if all should happen to go in favor of Ripple, the SEC will opt for a settlement, which will eventually give the SEC a win in the public's eye. And in the most recent news update, there have been rumors that the lawsuit has reached a settlement. All staff on the SEC vs. Ripple case have reassigned. SEC is now hiring to prosecute illegal currencies, says one tweet. One particular source affirms that the official announcement of the newly signed deal will be made known to the general public next week. News of this has got the whales massively buying into the XRP market, thus increasing the price of the Ripple coin intrinsically, even as the market dips. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and we'll see you next time. Hollywood Carson.